Okay, so looking at question 10, um, the, uh, the, the question is asking to determine the ratio of their volumes rounded to the nearest unit. So this is really just a question where we have to calculate the volume, say, of, I think, the two telephone boxes. Um, so we could either do the, um, the big one, so we'll call that volume 2 over volume 1. So the, the, I guess all we really need to look at here is how do we calculate the volumes of each of these boxes? So the, the box is essentially a prism, right? So if we think about this, um, we have a base here, okay? And then we have a certain height for the, um, for the object. So again, like, the, like in question nine, volume um, of anything, is equal to the area of the base times the height. So we could easily, we should just be easily able to find what the area of the square base is, times it by the height, and generate the two volumes for that. So let's just look at the models here. So the first one here is the K2 model. Um, it stands nine feet tall and has a square base with sides um, 3.4 three feet, four inches long. So the area of the base is going to be um, three feet, four inches. Okay, but we have to square that. And then the height is equal to nine feet. And then we would just multiply those two and that should give us the volume. So the, the little bit of the, the question here is what do you do with the inch component? Because we can't say 3 feet 4 inches is 3.4 feet. That's not what that actually means. So we have to do a little bit of conversion here on the side. 4 inches is 4 over 12. There are 12 inches in a foot and we're taking 4 of those inches. So that's equal to approximately 0.33. That means the area, uh, the, the base, is actually going to be 3.33 feet. So we can now calculate the volume for K2. Okay. Our area is going to be 3.33. I'm just going to put in two decimals there. It does look like that is um, a repeating decimal. We'll square that, and then we times it by the height, which is 9. So that should give us a value of close to 100 cubic feet. Okay, so remember, three dimensions, um, we're taking, we're squaring um, the, the, we're squaring feet first, which is the area, and then we're multiplying by a third height, which is going to give us a cubic foot um, value. Okay, then we have the KX um, 100 model. So this is kind of the same thing. We're going to do the area of the base but it tells us that the area of the base has a square base with sides two feet, eight inches long. So we can do the same thing. Um, two feet, 11 inches, and we know the height is equal to seven feet, two inches. Okay, so now they're forcing us to do a little bit of a conversion um, for both of these here. So. Let's try to squeeze this in here. We know 11 inches is going to be 11 over 12. Okay, that is going to give us 0.917 feet. And we know the two inches is two over 12, which is one over six, which is 0 0.167 feet. Okay, so going from there, if we look at our volume, um, it's going to be 2.9. Um, 917 feet squared times the height, which is going to be 7.167 feet. Um, and that is going to equal 60.98. 60.98 feet squared, or sorry, cubed. And then if we were going to do the ratio of the two, we can just simply go 100 over 60.98. Um, and we should get a value of, um, uh, probably just leave this as a decimal. Um, we can do 100 divided by 60.98, which is going to give us 1.64 over 1. So that means the volume of the 
the large, the K2 model is uh, 1.64 to the smaller one. Okay, now I think they do try to convert this to a fraction. 1.64 is like a hundred, close to 165 over 100. And then if we reduce that, um, we get an approximate uh, value here of approximately five thirds. Um, but I think if you get it to this decimal spot here, that um, should be uh, good enough for an answer. Okay, so that's how you do that question. The, the trick in this one is just converting the fractional inches into decimal feet and then putting it together.